Uranium Friends, some Australian stuff. Bannerman, uh, they call this the eye test, right? So what's your eye say? Anything wrong with the chart? Nope, nothing wrong with the chart, right? You want to zoom in a little bit more with reaching some EMAs, but that's what Bannerman does. Bannerman does all these little undercuts. 352 is the key level. Monthly chart looks fine, right? It hasn't even started monthly consolidation. That's it, right? Pass the eye test. Looks good. Looks fine. Absolutely fine. Consolidation, typical. Nothing's changed on this chart yet. It's the way I see it. Boss Energy, something has changed on this chart, right? So uh, we know we had some big, big insider selling. Doesn't bode well for the confidence, uh, for, especially in this fickle sector. Um, but, you know, does Boss really look that bad? Not at all. This chart in itself doesn't look bad at all. Literally retesting its breakout. That's all it's doing. <laughs> so, we just got to see uh, the space in general. You know, we got FOMC and CPI and all that stuff. I'm sure it affects the Aussies in some way, shape, or form, but you know, did it get to daily oversold conditions? It has. Um, you know, uh, with uh, the Australian names, I'm going to play them. I am absolutely going to play them, and I'm not even going to attempt to do any falling knife trade whatsoever in any of them. I'm just going to wait for the trend to change. When the trend changes, hopefully I have a good level to work off nearby. I'll pay attention when it starts getting to these bigger areas, but that's how I am going to play uh, the ASX because it's just cost prohibitive. I test anything wrong with DPLO? Nope, not at all. Monthly uh, retesting a breakout area. You know, this is I forgot why I had that circle that I think I was talking about. Maybe that would be a sell point. Who knows? Uh, nothing wrong with the deep yellow chart at all. Passes the eye test. Not doing anything different than it normally has been doing since, well, really, since April of 2023. Nothing is different. Nothing is different about what is happening right now than what it's always been doing. Uh, you guys like Elevate, right? Um Breach some support levels, but plenty of support here. Must hold. Lotus. Passes the eye test. Nothing wrong with this chart at all. You could probably literally draw a perfect trend line. That just gets tapped, right? Oh, it just went down. Just ticked down as we uh, as I was drawing. Um, so... Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Paladin. I test pass. Yep. Again, you could just draw your trend line. So uh, I guess these trend lines are going to have some importance. You know? Really, it's the blue line to me. It's the 26 EMA. The Australians like the 26 EMA. That's the way it looks like to me. Uh, blue line, 26 EMA. Looks to get there. Peninsula. This is a real doozy, right? Pass the eye test? Nope. Right, completely different. Garbage. Silex, pass the eye test? Passes the eye test. Doing anything that Silex is doing right now is completely normal on these weekly charts. So, which means the monthlies and are going to be just as good, too. Uh, what is this one? Oh no, thinking of uh, what's the other ones you guys always? I'm trying to think of. I think uh, Downs talks about Algator a lot. Pass the eye test. Eh. Not really I'm testing some support. So um, the majors on the ASX look fine. Even Lotus looks fine. Um, that's it. They are all passing the eye test right now, and so nothing has changed. Over and out.